Validating a lab informatics system using the traditional test everything equally approach can often take as much time and effort as installing, configuring and customizing the system itself. The FDA has been advocating science-based risk management in part to encourage technology innovation for a number of years now. In 2008, GAMP5 introduced a risk-based approach to compliant GXP computerized systems. Adopting a risk-based approach to validation will leverage supplier activities and documentation, focus attention on high-risk areas for your business, move your focus away from installation and functional requirements testing to risk-based requirements testing, thus reducing your business risk while at the same time reducing the validation effort and associated cost and the overall project duration. Of course, these benefits will only be realized if your organization has bought into the risk-based approach and accepts the results and recommendations of the formal risk management plan. In order to ensure buy-in to the risk management plan, the risk management process must be tightly controlled and conducted by subject matter experts in the lab process and the science behind the process, the GXP and corporate quality rules, the capabilities and inner workings of the product, the application of the product to the lab process. The basic steps of the risk management process should include identification of risks, the analysis and evaluation of those risks, and the development and documentation of the mechanisms to control the risks. Remember that there are many ways to reduce risk other than performing additional testing. Bottom line is that involving subject matter experts and investing upfront energy in developing a formal risk assessment and management plan can lead to a significant reduction in the overall validation effort and project duration. For more on risk assessment, click here to view the webinar, Making Risk Assessment Work. What's the fuss about?